If you're looking to understand how ChatGPT and WordWall can combine together, then this is the video for you. WordWall is one of the most popular websites for creating activities for language learners because it has over 30 different game types and they're really interesting and they also provide very useful feedback. One thing about this video is it would apply to almost any language. I've seen work in ChatGPT, in Japanese, in German, in French, in Spanish, in English. My, my own work is in Polish and all the examples I'm going to show you today are between English and Polish, but it could be a, almost any language. And of course, Word will, whatever you paste into Word will, then it will work, depending of course on the fonts. So this is a training session packed with ideas of how ChatGPT and WordWall can work together to produce really interesting content, both for students and for teachers. Really hope you like the video. As always, I'll have a menu system to jump between the different parts. And if you do like the video, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So what I asked ChatGPT to do here was simply to write a list of words in Polish to do with tennis and in, in the second column to give me the word in English so that I've got the translation. Now the reason I asked for this is because watch this, I can literally just copy those words. And now I'm gonna jump over to one of the most popular tools for creating games called WordWall. So WordWall offers an incredible number of different games for language learners, not just one or two, but like 30 or different games. You can see how many resources are being produced. There's more than 56 million. And if I come over to create an activity, you get some sort of indication of the number of games that you can play. So this is great for language learning and I use it all the time, both with my students, but also in my own language learning. Now the one that I'm gonna go for is match up. So I'm gonna click on that. And this is where you match the words in English and the words in, in Polish, in my case. Uh, and all I can do now is just because I've already copied all those words, I can just paste in all the words in one go. And then instantly I've got the words ready. I'm going to just give it a title and I call this tennis. Okay, so that obviously I'm trying to learn different words in, in Polish in, in tennis. And then what I'm going to do is watch this because it's another really useful thing. If you click here choose your language so in my case it's going to be polish i can actually click on generate tennis and then it will add the audio to the words as well I'll just do a couple for you i won't spend Rakietka. too much long so obviously you'd have to go through if you wanted to add all the audio and that could be in french or spanish or german or chinese or whatever language you're learning and then you click on done and the game is ready now let's just quickly play the game so you can see how the game works very simple game this one it just simply is that I've got to match the words, but notice some of the words have got audio included. So for example, I've got rakieta, and I can click on it. Rakietka. And then ra rakietka, sorry, I've said it wrong. Uh, that's one of the reasons why it's a good idea to have the pronunciation. And I've just got to basically drag all the words in. And then once I finish, I would submit the answers and it's gonna tell me if I'm wrong or right. Now I'm going to show you some more ideas with WordWall, but if you want to learn it in detail, then I'm going to put a video on the screen now that you can click on that will go through WordWall right from the beginning, all the different games and different ways that you can set up activities. I'm going to carry on now with some more ideas working with ChatGPT and WordWall together. Now this next idea is going to, you're really going to see the power of WordWall and also ChatGPT. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT, and I've already put the instructions in here, but I'm going to click on the button. I've asked it to use the vocabulary and to write me a story in Polish about playing tennis, uh, to write this story about a boy who's playing tennis and wants to join the tennis league so that he can improve his tennis. And I want, it, I want ChatGPT to use the vocabulary that I want to practice. So this is a really typical thing for me to do. I've got those keywords that I want to practice. And so a brilliant idea now is to put these words into a story. Use this story and put it into WordWall and create it into a game. Okay. Now it's quite writing quite a long story. So one thing you can do with ChatGPT, if you think the story is too long, you can ask it, can you make this story a little bit shorter? And it will do that. Yeah. So for example, this story here is quite long. Um, and I can just say to, I can say, can you write the same story 
but slightly shorter and slightly easier polish okay and it will reproduce that story for me but maybe in, an, in a shorter text and with easier polish and that's one of the things that you've got to learn about ChatGPT to kind of have a conversation with it and ask it to change and adapt the material that you ask it to produce it, and it's done a really good job of that it's made the story a lot shorter but look what I can do now I'm going to copy that story okay it's made it a lot shorter and this is going to work really well I'm going to jump over now to uh, WordWall and in WordWall, I'm going to click on create an activity. I'm going to create a different type of activity now. I'm going to do a missing words activity. And we're going to call this one tennis story. And then I'm going to paste in the story. And this is what you can do, which is really, really useful. You can then choose which words you want to make into a gap fill. So I can click click on words that are to do with tennis that I want to practice, okay? So for example, I'm gonna choose uh, trainera. So I'm gonna click on that word and add that as a turn into a gap seal. And I'm gonna click on, um, I'm gonna put ligi. So he joins a tennis league. And I'm gonna click on that word there. Again, this could be in any language. I'm doing this in Polish because this is the language that I'm studying, but this could be in English, in Spanish, in French, etc. And I'm gonna click on the word vigrao because that means to win, and that's quite a useful word to practice. And then I'm gonna come down here and uh, look on another word. Um, and we'll choose the word. Okay, okay. okay. now I'll just do one more. Um, I'll do so I'm going to click now on done. I've turned that into a gap fill activity. How does it work? Let's have a quick look. We'll click on the play button. We'll go full screen. And the idea, of course, is to read the text and to put the correct words in. Okay. So I know that this one is, for example, Oshongnach, Oshongnach, Oshongnonch success. Okay. And then we've got here Znalao. Trenera na lokalim korcie, okay, and do ligi tenisovi, etc. And then once I've finished, I won't finish now, I'm just going to click on the button just to show you. It'll give me feedback immediately on the activity. Now, just before I move on with some more ideas for Word Wall, I'm just going to point out to you that on the screen now is a video that you might be interested in. It's about using AI to study languages, and it's very similar to this video with lots of ideas around AI tools that we can use. Okay, in this next activity, what I want to show you is how we can, um, and it's interesting what I've done here. What I've asked for is I've asked for a series of nouns connected to tennis in Polish and a series of verbs. So again, this could be in any language that you want to practice. And what I've asked for is to give me these verbs uh, and these nouns, but with no translation. Now again, see what I can do here is that I can create a game. I'm going to click over on copy. I'm going to jump over again to WordWall. I'm going to jump over to WordWall. We're going to click on Create Activity, and this time we're going to do Group Sort. And we're just going to paste all those words in. And of course, all of those words are nouns. And what we're going to do here is just give it the title Nouns. Now we need to go back again to the um, ChatGPT and copy the second group because the second group is going to be verbs. So let's quickly copy those. So back onto ChatGPT, I'm gonna copy all of these verbs this time. I'm gonna jump over again to WordWall. We're gonna paste in all of the verbs and then un uh, here, just gonna add title verbs. And now we've got a grouping activity, just to quickly show you what that's gonna look like. Don't forget, again, I could add in the audio if I want to, and I will do when I've got more time. The game's ready, and simply, in this game here, you just drag the words in, either if nouns or verbs. Now, you could do nouns, verbs, adjectives, you could do any type of grouping. ChatGPT is great at grouping words together, and you can ask it to create all sorts of groups of words. For example, I've tried things like provide for me 10 words connected to building, 10 words connected to being a car mechanic, and 10 words connected to being a doctor, and then put in groups in like that. You can do all sorts of things with groups. It works very, very well. 
So we're going to go through some more ideas now of using WordWall and ChatGPT together. But if you're a teacher and you're looking for advanced ideas on ChatGPT, there's a lovely video on the screen now with lots of really interesting and creative ways of using ChatGPT with your students. What I've done here is I've asked ChatGPT in columns to write me a series of sentences about playing tennis. Again, I'm doing this in Polish, but this could be in Spanish or French or Chinese or whatever. And I've asked it to write the sentences in the present and in the past. Now, this is really helpful to me because sometimes changing from the present to the past in, in Polish can be quite tricky. And so it's great to have sentences in the present and the same sentence in the past. And what I can do is, again, I can use the match activity. So if I can just copy these two columns, this saves me so much time. So jumping over to WordWall, we could use the match up activity, we could use match in pairs, we could use find a match. But I'm actually going to come down here and the one that I'm going to work on is this one here which is called unscramble. And I'm going to click on it and I'm going to paste in all of those words that I copied from ChatGPT. So I've got the sentences in the present and in the past. I could add the audio if I wanted to as well. And now I'm just going to click on done. So if we play this game now, you'll notice that you've got, say here, przegrałem pierwsze gry, ale odbyłem się. And now what I would need to do is to find what would be the present of this one, and that would be here, okay? So I would click here and find the one. Now let me go full screen, you can just see a little bit clearer. So it's really nice for me, then I've got przegrywam and przegrałem, okay? przegrywam i przegrywałem and it's a really good way for me to kind of contrast the present and the past it would probably be better if I added the audio as well but these types of activities can really work well this kind of sentence in the present sentence in the past particularly if in the language you're learning you know there's a lot of irregular verbs or it's very very hard to really build up a clear understanding of in Polish it can be quite tricky because there are various endings Okay, I really hope you liked that video. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com for more videos. You've got the whole section here at the top of different menu items, but you can also scroll down and see some of the most popular videos on the front page. If you want to keep up with my work, sign up to the newsletter. That way you'll get updated with all the latest videos that I create and put onto YouTube, but also the webinars, the online courses and the blog posts. And at the moment, if you sign up, there's a free 14-part video course in using technology and language teaching. And don't forget also, if you want to contact me about doing some training with your organization or even with you as an individual, you can contact me from the website. And thank you very much. I'm going to leave some more videos now on the screen about ChatGPT.